keep it presidential. All right, what's going on, everybody, listeners of the great, phenomenal Presidential Executive Podcast? So this new segment we've added, if you haven't already noticed, we got one called Executive Mindset, and that's where the great uh, Jamal Brown, DJB901, Twitter, Instagram, he, he gives his take on certain things. And so this is just a little brief snippet. Uh, this is called a presidential perspective. And so this is your guy giving his presidential perspective on certain things. And so today uh, we're going to talk about a uh, legacy. My guy, mom, uh, the lovely Mi- Mrs. Stacy Jackson, uh, who recently passed and the funeral was held on January 22nd, which was Saturday. Lovely service. Um, and so let me just start off by saying that that Andrew, her husband and, and the girls, Madison, Jessica, Mariah, Christian and Hannah, I love you all so much. You all have no idea how much you all mean to me and, and what your mom meant to me. And and what a lot of people don't know is that just we go way back just with her knowing my mom and dad and my family, you know, even before I was born, my mom and, and her had like a sister relationship. And, you know, again, even them being a part of my uncle's church back in the day. And so that was how, you know, we had our relationship. And uh, just just a personal note, like and I just want to say thank you all so much. And I know that Mama Stacy was such a big part of it. But like when my daughter was an infant and I was working at FedEx at night and I didn't have anybody to keep her, you know, every night. And of course, you know, shout out to uh, Sig and, and, and Charmaine and uh, my guy, sister Roberta, you know, they would take turns watching her. My girl, Chris Sellers, you know, who, who would watch from time to time. But a lot of those times, like you all would keep charity for me. And, and not only that, but it was like, you know, when you get off, you get off at six in the morning, you know, um, can you come at like maybe one o'clock in the afternoon and we'll be awake by the end. And, and, and that gave me opportunity to go home and take a nap, go to sleep when I got off work. And, and it's just your mom was such a big part of that, you know, to to enable me to go to work at night and then come pick her up and be refreshed in the morning. And she was always great. You know, y'all would sing her to sleep and that is just a wonderful memory i have you know with y'all's mom and y'all y'all don't understand how much of an impact that made just in the early years of me being a a, a young father and, and you all being you know my daughter's aunts even when i was teaching you know times where we would do things for our kids whether it be uh when i was coaching and doing stuff in in that regard I remember I got wings from you all a couple of times at Ching's, you know, your mom was like, let me know. like she was like, and I remember I had already one of the times I had already paid and I ended up getting some money back because she was like, no, you're not going to pay full price for this. Like, you know, how come you didn't tell me, tell them when you were placing the order who you were? No, you know, go back here. We owe you some money. And, and just on that level, and even when I would come in just to support the business, because, you know, I support y'all. But she still was not going to let me pay. And and even, you know, some of y'all, when y'all was working back there, Jesse and, you know, uh, Matt, like y'all would always go back and and take care of me. But still, it was like, no, I'm like, I want to pay. You know, I'm messing with y'all, but y'all was still messing with me. And, you know, so um, I I could talk so much about Mama Stacey and just how people who couldn't have children at the church, she would pray with them and pray over them. And then within a couple of months, they end up pregnant you know having a child how she pushed so much for me when I was doing my music heavily encouraging me to do that and pushing me to do that I mean and y'all y'all know who y'all mom was man anybody who went to breath of life with us y'all know y'all know who who Stacy Jackson was uh the praise and worship the chorale the choir uh, uh being a worship leader um and just really exemplifying that love being everybody's mom or everybody's aunt you know, um, it's an amazing thing when you have somebody who impacts you in that way and uh, leaves a lasting impact. And a beautiful thing is, is like when you're at a at a funeral and, they, you know, they tell you, leave, keep it to two or three minutes. And they know you might go five. But like it's people who was longer than that. And it was it wasn't a thing because everybody knew, you know what I'm saying? Like like our church is a fairly nice sized church, but like it was to capacity. You know, even with everything that's going on in the world with the pandemic and such. And and it's so many people who just wanted to see her off and, and to 
Um, and, and we know where her, her, her spirit and soul is, but just who wanted to say goodbye collectively with the family. And uh, I just want you all to know, Andrew, Madison, Jessica, Mariah, Christian, and Hannah, that I love you, that we love you, that we're praying for you. And, and again, you know, y'all have no idea. Y'all can't do no wrong in my eyes. Your, your mom and dad, y'all, because y'all impacted me being a young father and being there for me and having my back and it just being like whatever you need. Like y'all, y'all got diapers and clothes, you know? And like I said, I know in, in, in my mistakes, it was a big part of that. You know what I'm saying? And even when, as my daughter was growing, would always call, either call me or when she would see me, it's like, you know, how is charity doing? What is she doing now? You know, let me see a picture of her. Like, and, and even when, as charity was getting older, when she would see her sometimes, it's like, I, you know, I think I know you, but I don't know if I know you. Like, you know, y'all made that impact from your guy, you know, rag, stringer, the press, keeping it presidential. What type of legacy are you leaving? And, and Mama Stacy left an amazing legacy. You will be loved forever and continually missed as long as I'm in this journey that we call life. And I know that you live through, you know, your husband and your daughters and, and future grandchildren. And so I am glad that you impacted my life the way that you did. And I'm thankful that I got to experience the gift that was Stacey Jackson. So as always, y'all know what to do. Definitely, you know, keep that executive mindset as my guy JB has. And uh, most definitely keep it presidential. Ariva Durchie, bow.